And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and God made a compact with Noah. God made a compact with Abraham. And what did he say? Uh, in the same day the Lord made a, co uh, a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, the, the Canaanites and the uh, Kazuniites, uh, and the Cadmonites and the Hittites and the Pezzarites and the Rephaim and all the rest of them are going to be under your domination. Where are we at today? Glory to God. We might get rid of Kerdathi. <clears throat> but what God told Hagar and Ishmael is going to be fulfilled in our day. Glory to God. They're, they're coming a confrontation yes. between the descendants of Ishmael and the descendants of Isaac because we're coming to the place that's called the end of the age. Glory to God. Genesis, the 12th chapter and the 7th verse. Genesis, the 12th chapter and the 7th verse. And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto, said unto thy seed will I give this land and there building he an altar upon the uh, land and there builded he an altar of the Lord who appeared unto him glory to God he builded an altar unto the Lord that appeared unto him glory to God Gen uh, Genesis 17 one and two, and when Abram was 90 years old, and nine, the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto him, I am the Alpha, I am the Almighty God. He was all Almighty God all up until Moses, and then he became Yahweh. When well, now he's the Almighty God, I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. <clears throat> Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying for me behold my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of many nations neither shall thy name anymore be called Abram but thy name shall be called Abraham for a father of many nations have I made thee the prophets demanded a seed the law demanded a perfect sacrifice and Jesus said, I have come to fulfill the law and the prophets. Neither shall thy name be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee and their generation for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. Glory to God. I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting covenant what the book say? Everlasting? That's a long time. Yeah. Oh, a thousand years. No, a thousand years simply means a set age. To thee and to thy seed. The prophets demanded a seed. The law demanded death. And I'm going to close. And I'm not through and I'll close. Judges the second chapter judges the second chapter <clears throat> and the angel of the Lord came up from Gilgad to Boku and said I will make you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you into a land which I swear unto your father and I said, I will never break my covenant with you. 
Glory to God. I will never break my covenant with you. God won't lie to you. God can't lie because he is the truth. Glory to God. I will never break my covenant with you. Glory to God. I want to go with Solomon and David. We'll talk about that then uh, next uh, Sunday or at least sometime. Luke, the first chapter, the 69th and the 7th. Luke, the first chapter, the 69th to the 70th verse. And that raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Glory to God. And raised up the seed in the house of David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. He spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world. Glory to God. What was the <clears throat> first covenant, first promise that he made to Adam? Adam sin disobeyed God and because of Adam's sin, sin came upon the human family. Yes. People say, well, that's not right. Well, I don't know what's right, wrong, or different, but nevertheless it happened. We're all sinners. Amen. The law could not make us righteous because the law demanded a perfect sacrifice, a blood sacrifice. You shall take out of the flock and you shall set it aside a lamb without spot and without blemish. And the prophets prophesied the seed. And Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came to fulfill the law and the prophets. I am not only the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am the Lamb of God that has come to take away the sin of the world. I have come to fulfill the law. Glory to God. Father, we thank and we praise you this morning that we can look in your word and find life and find hope and find peace. We pray, dear God, this morning that as we are confronted with darkness and frustration and fear, it would look to your word, the covenant that you made, the law you gave, and the prophets that they prophesied concerning your day and in your hour. We thank you that you're here this morning. You're in our midst. You're in our presence. You're within our heart. You're within our life. You're within our mind. And let us have the mind of Christ with the knowledge of knowing that you declared unto us where you are, I am also. We know that you're here with us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.